Thank you for visiting. I know the house doesn't smell like coffee yet this morning. We're all out of half and half. I could drink black coffee. Ooh. <laughs> I like a splash of half and half in my coffee, especially if I'm being invited to a teddy bear picnic. Good morning. I found this teddy bear through crocheting with Alana. She found some teddy bear dress patterns and showed us her teddy bear. Extremely soft, found on Amazon. And I thought my niece would love a candy corn teddy bear. <laughs> so yesterday I had a few um, ends to tie in before I take off on my vacation. I'm so happy you're coming along with me. We're gonna have such a good time. So I made, uh, I wanted to finish the teddy bear to give to my niece for her trick or treat. I found a little bag and she's two. So she's really, really into animal sounds. Found a kitty cat bag at the Dollar 25 store. I found a fun little coloring book. And I was looking for those um, really thick Crayola crayons that um, my kids used when they were little because they wouldn't break. But I did find these twistable. It's got a plastic shell and I'm not sure if she's gonna be able to twist it, but maybe mom and dad can help with that. <laughs> so I'm gonna give her the little, the little bag and the teddy. I started to make her hat, which was a basic hat tutorial. And then I used it just for the stitch count coming down. This is six rows of six, which makes this cute little curl. And then um, every other row increase gives you the narrow part. And once you get closer to the head, you don't want it too big because it's for appeal. We're not trying to keep the rain out of your eyes. <laughs> Then I did a um, every row increase, keeping the same same count. It's um, increasing between the uh, the number of single crochets is increasing between the number of increase crochets, all done in single. And when I got down to the brim, I did um, uh, front loop only, and then I made this little V stitch around the top just to give an uh, appearance of a brim, which is the same V stitch that the bear, bear dress crochet is what the title was of the video. I'll link it below. Um, it had written instructions on the screen. She also had verbal instructions and very clear visuals. Her dress did not have the little um, cap sleeves. I like the little ruffle on the sleeves. So I did a little slip single half double and then I did a whole bunch of doubles. So I got to the top of the sleeve, two doubles in each. And then I threw three doubles in there to give it a little flare. What else did I alter? Um, oh, down here where we increased the little shell patterns, we threw in an extra double crochet between the shells. And I thought it'd be pretty if I just grabbed the front, did a front post or a back post. Just add a little texture. She also only changed colors twice in the tutorial. I did the three for the candy corn. And then, uh, what else? Oh, her back was split all the way. So she crocheted it flat. When I was done, I then went up halfway up the yellow using the same color. I stopped at the orange because it would overlap. And then I put a cute little, cute little button on the back. And there she is, my little trick or treat. And I'm ready to gift that on Thursday. What else was I working on? <laughs> oh, my companions, the whips. <laughs> I did not work anymore on the Bavarian blanket. Mm, not feeling it. So I'm 
sometimes when you start a project, you're all excited. And then once you set it down and it's, I'm not going to undo it. I think it just is what it is. I think, I think it's trying to tell me that it's created and, and finished. So I'm going to let that sit for a while. I don't like to force myself to work on things. Oh, I have a bookshelf with three shelves of crochet and knit patterns in books and magazines. I sat last night and went through all of them. When I first get a book or a magazine, I like to use the little um, page post-it note page flags and go through them and I mark patterns that I, I'm curious, like I'd really, I'm interested in, I'd like to make it or <laughs> think about making it. <laughs> And so I went through all of my books and magazines and looked at all of my marked pages and decided um, which ones realistically am I interested in making and what patterns are so simple that um, if I wanted to make something similar, would I just go to YouTube and search the tutorials or would I go on the internet or Ravelry or one of the many other places that I go to search for patterns or would I remember to look back into my magazine or my book? Um, I filtered through about half of them. I'm keeping half. And then the other half I wanna take with me to the yarn crawl because a lot of the little yarn shops have lending libraries. And I would love to have something or a few somethings to contribute. Um, a fun thing about our house is that we have a little free library in front. We live across the street from a middle school and the, um, City of Oakley Rotary Club asked if we were interested in having a literacy program. So we have a little free library in front of our house that students and parents and neighbors all come and visit. I have put a few crochet and knit books in there and they have sat. So I don't think that I have a strong community interest in crochet and knit. I know our high school offers a class with crochet and knit. Um, and I have taken books over there and, and donated them. And I've also taken yarn and hooks. Um, I've taken all them Susan Bait hooks over there. <laughs> so I, I've saturated my community with goodies and I would love to expand and share them a little further. So I'm gonna take some books and magazines with me to leave in the lending libraries. I have packed my suitcase. Yes, with all my crochet wardrobe, we will um, definitely have some video on the trip. <laughs> and that's all I did yesterday. Um, I started this little dress and hat, worked on it Friday, Saturday, got it done. I did the books. Yeah, that's it. I need some coffee. I'm not not gonna wake up. I need to go in there and get some coffee. I gotta do that before I do anything else. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend. It was very nice visiting with you and we will see you later. Bye friends.